I always see my job as creating opportunities for the art. People come to me because they have collections of one sort or another, and usually they don't know what to do with it. But they know they want the art to be the focal point in the residence. I need to make their artwork sing. That's a wonderful challenge. And I really welcome those challenges because I want what you love best to shine. I love interacting with the clients. I like them to be involved in the process. It becomes more collaborative that way. And in the end, you get somebody who's vested with the final result. I really appreciate the handmade, the technical qualities, the mastery of the craft. My mother made everything by hand. And so she taught me to appreciate the process. And it's just a medium I'm really comfortable dealing with. It's very instinctive. How did I approach my renovation? Well, I had a cute little Cape Cod, and I underscore little. I just wanted to blow out the walls, have them be, you know, all glass, and to integrate the garden in a very, very powerful way. So that when you walked in, the impression was that the house was enormous, and it's not. It's all about creating that volume and distance. That was number one. And number two, I had a pantry-sized kitchen, and I wanted a real kitchen. So I wanted to create a space that combined a family room with a kitchen space that felt as though it was out in the garden. When I lecture on the subject and I'm dealing in mass class situations, I always tell them the same thing. A beautiful environment, no matter what it's filled with, is gonna create a happy environment for the people that are living in there. It's a privilege to be able to do this for people.